Hey there, Chris here. And today I'm just gonna explain the most common paper sizes, the A and the B series. We get this question a lot and um, it's fairly straightforward actually once you know the concept of it. So uh, both the A and B series start with a mythical A0 and a B0, which is basically just a master size that all the other sizes are based off of. You don't normally see these on actual notebooks because they're way too big. For the A size, uh, it's gonna be 46.8 by 33.1 inches. Um, these were kind of initially developed uh, for the metric system, which makes a whole lot more sense than our imperial system, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. So basically how that works is uh, pretend this sheet of paper is your A0. Um, for every other A size, you're basically gonna have that hamburger style. So if this is a, then this is going to be A1. And we're going to take that again, fold it in half, and this is going to be A2. Make sense? Yeah, pretty straightforward. Where we come into kind of our notebook sizes is starting with the A4 size. So, you know, this would be the giant size. You're gonna have this again, half that again. That gets you to the most common size, A4. It's your standard Rhodia number 18 notepad. Um, this is, works out very well because then to get to A5, and have that, it's gonna be two of the Rhodia number 16 or two A5 sizes. Have that again. And you get the Rhodia number 13 size. So that keeps going. So that's uh, basically an easy way to think of the A sizes. If you have an A4 size and you think that's a little too big, just picture half of that, that's gonna be A5. The B series is gonna have the same concept, except that the starting size that a size that we started off with is going to be different. It's going to be a little bigger actually. Uh, the B size starts at uh, 55.7 by 39.4 inches. So basically where that starts being the usable size is going to be the B5 size. So here you have it in the life notebook. Um, you're going to have that again, so you're going to get B6. And then if you wanted half of that, you're going to get B7. There are other variants on this. There is a C series of uh, paper sizes, and then Japan actually does a whole separate thing, um, but we don't have time to get into that. So there you have it, Paper Sizing 101. If you want to check out all the different sized papers, you can head on over to andersonpens.com.